everybody welcome back thank you for clicking on today's video that's very very nice of you so this week is reading week so i actually am like just gonna be at home today which i thought would be a bit different normally i vlog when i'm like going to uni in a regular week i have classes tuesday to friday so i'm there like every day apart from monday sadly do have quite a bit of work to do i'd love to just take a week off i haven't had proper time off in so long cry me river <laughs> i have something due in on friday so that's what i'm working on this week i did take yesterday off today's tuesday i took monday off just because i was like it's reading really me i need at least one day off and i might take another day off depending how well my work goes if i get everything done ahead of time um that could be good and i also i'm doing a presentation next week so that's what i'm working on at the moment it's actually crazy because this is halfway through this term and there's only two teaching terms so it's three quarters of the way through like all the teaching it has gone so fast and i know at the very beginning i was like this is going so slowly and it feels so difficult <laughs> um but this term in particular has gone literally so quickly i kind of have blinked and every week i'd be like oh my god it's already week three it's already week four and you know sometimes when you like become conscious of that you then it stops going as quickly because you're conscious but every time um so yeah this is week six and like week six is like a nothing week so I have some bedroom updates which I'm excited to show you because I have hated so much of my room for like almost the whole time I've lived here so this wall here used to have two prints um and they were very like loud and they didn't go well together to be honest I just put them up when I moved in and I was like I'll change that very soon and I never found anything that I liked but I finally got this print oh you can see me um and I really like it I also think it goes really nicely with this bedding this bedding's from John Lewis if you're interested and the little cushions are from a shop in Jaipur. I think that looks so much better. Just like peaceful. It's actually quite hard to show you because the room is very little. But you can kind of see like that. Just look a little bit more peaceful. The print is from Desenio. I have worked with them in the past. But I bought this print because yeah. Just feel like they have so many good options. And I had searched every print site for months literally. And I could never find anything good. Um, I used to have these. One of these here. I switched them all there just to keep some like more empty space this little shelving unit i also decluttered so because my room's really small i do need to use some of it for storage but i've compacted that all to the bottom shelf and there's also drawers under the bed so i'm like utilizing them a bit better so this shelf before was like full of like storagey stuff moisturizers and like like card games and stuff like that which doesn't look as good just like out so now that when you're here like on the bed every shelf is like more put together i have just done a combination of like books and other bits and bits and pieces some of the stuff is like functional obviously like i go i use my jewelry and stuff um but yeah i've tried to just make it look a little bit like cleaner okay also this is a little bit maybe this explains a bit more where the prints are and then this is the final print that i got originally i wanted to have it next to the blue one so like here um but i didn't like i didn't think they went well together this is a picture of my bar my dad's mom which i think is the most gorgeous picture and so rare because i feel like there's never pictures of grandparents um when i saw this picture i was literally so confused because i was like i have never seen really any pictures of you <laughs> that aren't like taken by my parents um so yeah, I just thought it was the coolest picture. I need to ask her like a bit more about it, but I know that it's taken in India. I don't think it's that old, but yeah, I just thought that was really cool. I just put it above the mirror. Obviously there are like better spots for it, but I'm not gonna live here forever. So I just thought, yeah, this wall's quite empty in general. So I thought that'd be nice. And yeah, got some V-Day flowers and yeah, here's a little room update. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about what I'm gonna be working on today slash this week. I do want some time off, but I'm pretty burnt out. This master's has been pretty rough, <laughs> but it hasn't at the same time. It's not like anything outrageous. The thing is, is that I normally work like nine to five or like 10 to six or like sometimes like 11 to five, like not, I'm not doing that like every single day, but I'm doing like regular work hours. It's just that I haven't really had any time off. Like I was working on Christmas Eve and like New Year's Eve and stuff like that. You just have to keep powering on <laughs> because there's always deadlines and like stuff and even though I am pretty good at like scheduling my time and making there be breaks I've just gotten unlucky like I got sick and stuff this first half of the time I chose not to do any presentations we basically have to present 
once in every course that we take so normally the seminar is like pupils or like, like students present for like 20-30 minutes and then the final the second part of the tutorial is like an hour long like discussion um, and sometimes the teacher leads that yeah you have to present once for each course and I decided to put both my presentations towards the end of the term which I know is just prolonging the inevitable but I kind of felt like that would be good to just get a little bit of a breather so this first half of the term I really have taken things chill <laughs> like I have done a lot more working from home and I've been a lot more like doing half days some days and stuff like that which I think helps because I'm feeling a lot better now and I've still done all my readings yeah I also am taking fewer courses at the moment so that's also why it's a little bit different to last term the thing that's due on Friday is a annotated bibliography which I've never done anything like that and it's such a random piece of work obviously like the teacher did explain like why we do it and like what the benefits are and stuff but I'm still a bit like so yeah we basically have to pick three sources summarize and like critique them and then like compare them and justify like why we chose those three and stuff so that's 1500 words so it's not very long but it's also not nothing when you're only talking about three sources like if I was to write a 1500 word essay it would definitely have more than three references so yeah and also because I'm not presenting like an argument as such there's less not less to say but different things to say so because I've not done anything really like that that's taken me a little while but the topic I've chosen for that is the side effects of oral contraceptions so I've got three papers looking at it from different angles one of them is like interviews one of them's a randomized control trial and then the final one is I haven't really actually worked on that one yet I don't know what the final one is but also looking at it from different angles like different age groups different factors um um so yeah that's what i'm working on this week and then my first presentation of the term is on the tuesday coming so a week today and we're presenting on the securitization borders and refugees and immigration so things like the language used around immigration like illegal immigration and illegal refugees and like threats to society like dangers to society those sorts of things and kind of like the security industry as well um there's three of us on that presentation and it's it's literally 10 minutes so that won't take that long but the only thing is that we also have to write an essay in that course and i'm gonna write it about this topic because i'm already having to do like extra work for it for the presentation so i may as well write my essay on that so i don't want to write the essay this week that's not due until week eight so i've still got a couple weeks but yeah, I'm just gonna gonna see with that one and like okay, I'm gonna stop blabbering on, get dressed, get to work, and I'll catch up with you later. Outside of studying, I have been working on my graphic design and I want to say a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. They are the world's largest online learning community for creatives and I've been using them for many months, many years even, and can't wait to talk about what I've been learning recently. They have a huge range of classes on things like productivity, freelance and entrepreneurship, marketing, music, animation, creative writing, so many amazing creative pursuits. Each class is broken up into small chunks so you can take them at your own pace and also take them whenever you want which the flexibility is really important for me as a student or for many of you guys with jobs or university etc this will work around your schedule. They also have these paths so these are collections of classes that are curated to help you work on a specific skill. I have been doing the graphic design learning path with the hope that I can improve some visuals for my YouTube and podcast thumbnails etc and this has been made up of classes on things like posters, colour and form and logos so all together you can master your graphic design with all these different areas. The first 500 people to click the link in the description will get a month's free of Skillshare so take a little look on, see if there's any classes that pique your interest and let me know which ones you decide to go for.
3 p.m. So I've been working on this most of the day. I think I've actually made better progress than I was anticipating, which is always a good feeling. The assessment is broken up into five sections and for each section they want us to write 300 words and I'm on the third one now and I've written about half of that. So I'm hoping to finish this one now and then I'll have two sections left which hopefully I can do tomorrow and then maybe spend the afternoon tweaking it and submit it. I'd really love to get this submitted tomorrow and then I can spend Thursday on my presentation and then I'd really like to just not study on Friday because then that means I've gotten two days off for reading week which feels fair and hopefully I can go back on Monday feeling a bit more refreshed. That's the plan. I'm really enjoying this work actually. I thought it was like kind of a weird assessment at first but, but I'm actually seeing the value in it as I'm like going through it. I also got an email back. I applied for, well not applied, just like reached out to some people about doing some volunteering and I've now got a meeting with one of those next week which is also exciting. I'll be a little bit nervous because anything like that is just so scary but it's not technically an interview and it is volunteering so even if it goes badly there's something I can do. Yeah that's like something exciting. I haven't been the most productive like I'm getting through it but I also I could have finished this already if I didn't watch Taylor Swift videos. I might have some soup soon. I made some soup a few days ago. It's curried lentil soup with coconut uh, coconut milk in it and it's really nice. I made quite like a big jar of it so I might have some of that for some lunch and a little bit um, or like an afternoon snack. Yeah, just sitting, doing my work. I actually really like my little desk setup. Right above is the window and I don't know where they're coming from, maybe city but there's like always planes going over and it's not loud at all which is obviously ideal but I just love watching like there's always one like every couple minutes. I don't know, something nice about it is also, look, I'll show you, sunny, like, we actually have some blue skies going on, which is just the best, and I feel like winter is finally coming to an end, I know it's still February, so, yeah, it's actually quite warm at the moment, and in, like, an unhealthy way, like, it's so much warmer than it should be this time of year, but there's only nine days, I think, now, till March, even less when you're watching this, and that's just so exciting because March is like the final month of winter slash like March is kind of spring vibes and then April you're fully you're fully out of the woods and it's just so much nicer and even now it's getting dark a little bit later which is so good because for so long I was like I normally finish uni at five or I leave at five and I would always have to walk home in dark which is fine but it's just so nice leaving and it's still being light and still feeling like you have like a little slither of the day left. I'm gonna keep working on this and then plans for later are to make a yummy tea and to go to the gym. So. very like nostalgic and cozy sorry i don't know why i started this click on or not so it feels kind of nostalgic today's plan i actually was only gonna vlog one day and then i was like i didn't really do anything yesterday which is my real life like that is that's the difficulty with like filming vlogs when i study or like work fr from like all day because there really just isn't much outside of that especially if you're tired like going to the gym is like my whole day at that point so yeah but i thought I was gonna have a little bit more of a fun day today 
um, so hopefully I can spice up the vlog a bit. My plan is to hopefully finish my project that I was working on yesterday. That'd be great. I think this will take me like a decent chunk of time, but not not forever. And then I actually thought I would go shopping for a bit. There's a few things that I want. Um, I want to have a look in Tiger and Soster and Gren. And then I also kind of want a new like top. I have a concert on Friday. It's my birthday in two weeks. So I was thinking maybe I could have a look for something that I could like excuse as a birthday present for myself. Yeah, maybe have a look at Lush as well because I love Lush. And yeah, just make the most of the fact that it is reading week. And I really do want to work on this project and like do the most that I can. But at the same time, I'm not going to get like more time off soon. So I may as well just like utilize it while I can. And then this evening, I think I'm going to edit this video. So. I'm so happy 